What's up crew? Welcome to another video and you know 2018 doing really big things buying really big rings but heading over to extreme training at 1 p.m. today finally got the vlog done and uploading so hopefully you enjoyed yesterday it was kind of a all over the place in the garage but now we hit extreme for the first time of 2018 oh. <laughs> Not Detroit, please. In Brooklyn. All right, that's the workout. Not too bad. Uh, I ended up scaling a lot of things. The original workout was uh, thrusters at 115 and bar facing burpees, obviously with that bar height with the plates. I scaled down to three rounds after finishing the first round really epically slow, like I was being lapped already. Decided from there that I was probably not gonna do the full five rounds. And then once Neil and Ray finished, while I was like barely finishing my burpees in the third round, I decided that, you know, and this is a good, good and bad decision for me. Bad because I, like I said yesterday, I do this often, after three rounds, I feel like quitting, and in that case, I quit. Good, because I listened to my body. I was, you know, burpees are, are disgusting, and if you can push through them, Godspeed. But for me, when I'm out of shape, my knee starts to hurt uh, from bending down and trying to step up, and I, I automatically, or when I step back, I automatically step back with my right leg, so my left knee is being bent like a pistol, and for some reason, that, that gets kind of sketchy, and, uh, 
causes a, a couple different pinches. And then my lower back started to pinch, my shoulders started to hurt in the thrusters, so I didn't want to push it any further and then gave myself a rest. But, you know, just like I said yesterday, don't be afraid to scale. So right off the bat, I scaled the weight down to just the barbell, which not only made it lighter for the thruster so I can get right into it and just do the seven and not have to worry about the weight or think about it. Um, and then in turn, by not having plates on the barbell, I had a lower hop over apparatus so I didn't have to jump over such a, a big, uh, well, big jump, but a, you know, what is that, a negative four inch? And then scaling it by rounds allowed me to still get a good workout, but not push myself too far to where I might not be able to move tomorrow. So again, don't be afraid to scale. If something is, you know, doesn't feel right, but be conscious of what feeling right means, you know. Um, I probably could have pushed through, but I also wanted to move on to the next thing. You know, when you're training with other people, uh, sometimes it's just, it's courtesy not to, you know, take up their, why did I just fog up the lens? Uh, for me, it's courtesy not to drag on the day for them. So they want, I wanted to move on to strict press with them. So if you truly feel like there's an injury abound, like your knee, like my knee felt like it was probably going to, you know, back in the day, if I, if I actually it still happens, if I get in the wrong position, I can't walk for a couple days and it's uh, super swollen because I still have some messed up I still have uh, some messed up spot, spots on my meniscus on both knees that will overreact in situations when I'm out of shape. The muscles pulling in weird ways. But anyways, that's enough talking. Uh, finished up with the core workout, which I didn't record because, like I said, I'm getting right. I'm getting back into this. I, you know, I had a, a certain flow to the videos before I stopped, and then I was able to capture some of that here and there before the end of the year. Um, and then of course that'll happen again once I feel more comfortable with the camera again and depending on the workout too, how it's structured, all the excuses in the world, but we're gradually getting back into this. So bear with me, hope you're enjoying it still. I'm heading to Whole Foods to grab a salad because I didn't really eat lunch and that whole entire time working out, I felt super low energy, probably because I didn't eat a good lunch. Grab some water um, and then head home chill for a second and go pick up Dylan. Although I might chill at Whole Foods, eat my salad, and then go pick up Dylan straight from there. Cause uh, why not? Why not just go grab her on the way home rather than make a stop just to get back in the car. But yeah. All right, so I didn't end the video yesterday and I don't know why, honestly, I can't really tell you what's going on here. I just finally finished the video, it is 3.56 p.m. Definitely not a time that I want to upload videos. I want to be able to upload much earlier, which I'll figure that out in some time. Figured I'd still end the video via video, 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 rather than doing some sort of just text end slate. Uh, also because right after I'm done editing this and putting this clip into the video, I'm going to start preparing to go live. I'm going to do this as tomorrow's vlog, so it will be titled Vlog 4 at the end of whatever the title is going to be because I think I'm still coming up with what the topic's going to be but something that I'd like to do is go live every once in a while to open up discussions. I'm honestly thinking about this one being sort of the problem with CrossFit discussion and inviting anybody to join and raise points against or for or whatever and just have a discussion rather than all this flame warring in uh, comment sections. It'll also be an opportunity for me to provide updates on where I'm at, what I'm doing, and what's going on in a live format. So if there's questions at the end of it, we can kind of just dive right into it. But I'll start the video as a, hey, what's going on? Here's the update so that it's like a vlog. And then at the end of that, I'll sign off as a vlog and then I'll start the live, you know, whatever it is that we're doing, discussing Q and A. Hopefully it'll be an enjoyable experience and something cool that we can do here and there. Um, and for this week, it'll be on Thursday, it might be a Friday, it might be on Saturdays, it might have a special guest, it might turn into a podcast ty style type thing, but we'll see where it goes. Uh, but kind of excited to do it to see what happens. I'm, I really have almost zero expectations of anybody showing up, but hey, who knows, maybe we'll have a few people. But that's today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit that like button. And if you'd like to file a complaint or sense of positive vibes, leave a comment. And until tomorrow, sort of, till a couple hours from now, I'll see you later, crew.
So like I said, uh, stay tuned. I will be going live tonight at some point. It'll probably be around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and it will just be open format uh, after I've delivered whatever the heck I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm gonna be saying and that will technically be tomorrow's vlog, so.